Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the third tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about how we can include comments in our script files and a few more interesting and important things uh, that we need to know before we dive deep into the fundamentals of uh, Python programming language, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll uh, fire up my Python IDLE that is the GUI application that we're going to use and uh, I'll just open the file that I created in the last tutorial. And uh, if you guys remember, I named it first underscore script. And uh, this file just has one executable statement at the moment. And I just have a print function call in, you know, within parentheses and double quotes, I have, uh, you know, some text. And if we run this file the way it is, then we see the text and I'll just run it to refresh your memory. So when I press the F5 button, I see the text that's there in the double quotes and that's hello world right now. Let's say you want to add uh, some explanatory text into this file that you don't want uh, the interpreter to, you know, mess with, like, you know, you don't want the interpreter to do anything with that text or, you know, with that information, you just want that information to be there so that if anyone has a look at the code that's there in the file, or if you re revisit your file, let's say six months later, then you know, you know, what's the purpose of, uh, you know, having that program there, right? So to include a comment in a script file in Python, what you have to do is you have to start your comment with the hash symbol or the pound symbol, right? So you type in that, and then you can type in anything that you want to type. So I just type in, this is a comment. And if you think that your comment is going to span over multiple lines, it's not going to end in one line, then at the beginning of each new line, you still have to type in the hash symbol, right? So this is different from a language like C in which you can have a slash and an asterisk symbol at the beginning of your comment and a slash and an asterisk symbol at the end of your comment. And you can span your comment over as many lines as you want. You know, you can't do that in Python. At the beginning of each new line, you have to put in the hash symbol. So, you know, this is line two. You know, I mean, you know, these comments don't really make much sense, but then when you will make big programs and, you know, this is something that I would suggest you guys to do, you know, get in the habit of uh, commenting your code as much as possible, because later on, as I said, when you visit your code, it just makes, you know, sense to uh, see what you see, right? So I hope you guys get the point, uh, save the file. And when I run it, I see that I still get my message, hello world, but then the comments have not been displayed. So Python really hasn't done anything with the comments is the interpreter has just ignored the comments, right? The next thing that I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to create a couple of string variables and, you know, show you a few things uh, that you need to know about strings, right? So I'm going to talk about variables uh, later on in the course in a lot of detail and also about strings later on. But then in this tutorial, I just want you guys to know a couple of things. So the way you create a variable in Python is you give it a name. So I'll call my first string variable str1 right and then you use the assignment uh, operator or the equal to symbol and then since i'm creating a string variable i'll have to use double quotes and i'll put in some text in my string so i'll you know just type in my string and uh, if you guys don't know what a variable is you can think of it for the moment uh you know as a container in the memory and you can put some stuff in it right so we're just storing some characters in it at the at, at the moment and you can store like lots of different kinds of things and variables in Python. But for this tutorial, I just wanted to work with a string variable. So that's why I've created one. And when I press the enter key, I don't see any message or anything, but my variable has been created. And I can uh, confirm that by just typing in the name of the variable at the prompt. So if, if I type in str1 and press the enter key, I see that I get the text that's there in the variable. And I also see a pair of double, uh, a pair of single quotes, you know, one at the beginning and one at the end. And that's to indicate that this variable is a string variable. And I can also use the print function to see the content of my variable. So, you know, uh, since I've already used uh, quotations to create my variable, I don't have to use quotations within the parentheses here. I can simply type in the name of my variable, which is str1. And when I press the enter key, I simply see the text and I don't see, you know, the quotations around the string because, you know, I've used a print function here, right? So what if you want to have a new line between, you know, several words that you have in your string? So let's say if I want a new line, instead of a space character, I want a new line between the words my and string. So if I create another variable str2, put the assignment operator, you know, put, get in my first double quotation mark and write the first word, which is my, and then press the enter key, you know, I'll get an error. So that's not allowed in Python, but then there's a way around it. 
if I want to have a new line between several words or sentences in my string, then what I can do is I can use triple quotes instead of using, uh, you know, double quotes or single quotes, right? So I'll type in uh, str2 as my variable name. I'll put in the assignment operator and instead of using, you know, the single quote twice or the double quote once, I'll get in, you know, the double quote symbol thrice. And now when I type in my and press the enter key, I see that I don't get an error message. Instead, the cursor starts blinking on another line, a new line, and I can type in my second word string. And I'll have to end my string with the same quotation sequence and the same quotation symbols that I used at the beginning of the string, right? So if I've used three double quotes and I have to put in three double quotes here, and when I press the enter key now, I get my prompt back. And if I type in the name of my variable str2 and press the enter key, I see that I get the string. And I also see the new line escape sequence between the two words, which is an indication of the fact that there is a new line character between the two words. And if I use the print function to, you know, see the text in the string, I'll type in str2 here. When I press the enter key now, I see that the string is formatted the way I created it. And uh, I see the two words on two different lines. The last thing that I want to show in this tutorial is, uh, you know, what you have to do to have uh, two executable statements on the same line in a script file in Python. So I have just one executable statement, which is the print statement here. Let me have another one. You know, I'll have another print function call. Put in sync, double quotes, I'll uh, type in something else like what's up and save the file. And when I run it, I see that I get the two strings on uh, the output screen, right? Now, what if I wanted to have uh, these two print statements on the same line? Not the output statements, but you know, just the executable statements. What if I don't want my program to be too lengthy in the sense, you know, I don't have to scroll down to see the code, so I want to have like two, three statements on one line. So if I put a backspace and have these two, you know, functions on the same line and execute the program, I get an error message. Python tells me that that syntax is invalid. So what I can do to get around this is I can have a semicolon between the two print functions. I'll save the file and now when I execute it, I see that I don't get an error message. Instead, you know, the uh, values are displayed, these the string values are displayed, right? So this is what you have to do if you want to have uh, two executable statements on one line or, you know, even more than two, you just have to separate the statements with the semicolon character. And uh, if you create a variable in Python and you restart your shell, then that variable is lost. So let me create another variable, str3, and I'll give it, you know, a value. This is a string, and I'll press the enter key to create it. And, uh, you know, if uh, I type in the name of the variable and press the enter key, I see that the text is displayed. Now, I'll go to shell, and I'll restart the shell. And you can do this by also pressing Control and F6 together. And when I do that, the shell is restarted. And now when I type str3 and press the enter key, I get an error message and Python tells me that the variable does not exist. So this is a very important thing and you should make a note of it that if you have created variables and if you restart your shell, then those variables are lost. So, you know, you should be careful about this. And uh, that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk more about variables and, um, you know, we'll see how we can assign values to variables and, you know, we'll check out some more interesting features. So. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.